So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and as you can see from the title and you're probably aware, Black Ops 3 got a brand new update today on all platforms and it didn't do a lot. But in Zombies, it's added something pretty special, and a new weapon is now available in the mystery box, which is the RPK. Now, if you don't know what the RPK is, it's an LMG, which was originally in Call of Duty Black Ops, and it's one of the most renowned LMGs in all of Zombies and holds a special place in my heart, and as well as your guys' hearts if you played Black Ops 1 back in the day. So here is the new LMG, the RPK, which is introduced into multiplayer a few weeks ago, but truck put out a tweet saying for those that love zombies do not worry the rpk will be making its return into zombies again in a few weeks and today is that day this gun can only be found in a mystery box it has a 100 round magazine with 400 spare ammunition and i have to say out of all the lmgs that are available within black ops 3 zombies this one is now definitely up there with some of the best because it has a really good high rate of fire and a decent amount of damage and also it has very little recoil especially from what i remember it it just seems to be like there is hardly any recoil at all and you probably don't think this is a big deal and honestly in the 21st century of how games are and how constant they get updated this isn't too huge of an update but this is the first time that we've had a gun added into black ops 3 in over a year the last time we had this was about 11 months ago where we had the m1911 and the ak-74u added into zombies and now we finally have the rpk now black ops 3 was not built to have new guns added into zombies through title updates like this more so to be built where you'll get new weapons within each dlc map which is how we've seen it but this is a very very positive thing and i'm very happy that triarch have done it because this opens up the pathway for them to add even more weapons into black ops 3 zombies before we get round to black ops 4 zombies and when i had the talk with jason and craig they mentioned that the way that black ops 4 is built is going to be built in a way where more content is going to be added into the game much more quicker and easier than it ever has before. That means new weapons are going to be added in far more regularly into Black Ops 4 zombies than what we've seen with Black Ops 3 zombies. It may not seem it but this takes a lot of man hours and QA testing to make sure that the weapons do not break anything within the fundamental systems that Black Ops 3 zombies runs off. Even just one thing could break a step in an easter egg meaning a whole map's easter it can't be completed if you have this weapon for example but of course those kinks should not be in the game because of course they've play tested it enough and they've deployed it in now some people are thinking that there could be other things snuck in with this update but unlike normal updates this really seems to only have the rpk added in now the one downside i would say to this weapon being added in is the fact that it has a red dot sight attachment now this is not the first time the other new weapons that were added in also had attachments on certain maps the ak 74 u was like had attachments on certain maps didn't have it on other maps but this seems to be a red dot sight attachment across most of the maps this gun is not available on every single map within the game it's available on the giant dirt eisendrak gorod crovey and all zombie chronicles maps so shadows of evil it's not on there zetsabo it's not on there and revelations it's not on there i don't quite understand why it's not on every single map maybe they just couldn't get the gun to properly work on all of the maps inside of black ops 3 but just to reiterate the rpk is only available in the mystery box on the giant dart eisendrak gorod crovey and all zombie chronicles maps now there is one downside to the gun in my opinion and that is that it has a red dot sight attachment the ak-74u has various attachments on it depending on what map you get it in but a lot of people didn't like that because the original didn't have attachments and this is the same case here i don't mind the red dot sight but aesthetically it doesn't look like the rpk that i knew and loved back in black ops 1 of course it still performs like it so i'm very happy in that regard and happy that we're getting new content in zombies i mean heck at this point i did not even really remember that they were going to add the rpk in and i'm all focused on black ops 4 and i'm sure you guys all are as well so for them to do this and for them to still care about black ops 3 even at this point now that black ops 4 has been revealed it's still really really cool but in my 
opinion, if Triarch want a bit of feedback when it comes to bringing other weapons into zombies um, before Black Ops 4 comes out, it would be awesome if they didn't have attachments on it. Maybe make it a bit like Black Ops 2, where by pack a punching the gun several times, you not only get the pack a punch effect, but also you'll get a different attachment on it. But that's just my opinion. Of course, Treyarch might have these attachments on for aesthetic reasons or maybe even just getting the guns to work. But aside from that, there are no other patch notes with today's update, so it literally was just the RPK. But if they've added this in, then that goes to show that there's still clearly an effort and a love there for them to add more weapons in the future. So if there is, of course, I will update you. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a big fat thumbs up as I'd really appreciate that. And make sure to subscribe as well for more awesome content from Black Ops 3 and of course Black Ops 4. So I still have quite a few juicy zombie videos still to make and you can expect those over the next few days but thank you for watching i'll catch you next time